Evaluating and understanding your resource is one of the most important components of evaluating a potential small hydropower installation. Beyond understanding the potential to generate electricity at a site based upon head and flow, other important factors impact the site evaluation of a potential small hydropower installation. One of the most important components is site access and ownership. Here at this canal, obviously the irrigation district would be an important partner in developing any small hydropower project. Just because you have water flowing across your land does not necessarily mean that you have the right to access it. Similarly, an existing water right is beneficial in developing a small hydropower project. Although hydropower is considered a non-consumptive use of water, the water that passes through a hydroelectric turbine can continue on its way to irrigate fields or deliver municipal water. Having the existing water right will make the permitting and licensing process easier. Beyond access and ownership and water rights, it's also very important to be able to deliver your product to market. There's no benefit to being able to generate electricity that you cannot cost effectively sell into the market. So proximity to power lines is also very important. Now just because there's power lines in the vicinity does not necessarily mean that there's room on the power lines or that you have the right to access those power lines. But proximity is important. If you have to take the electricity too far, a project will most likely not be cost effective. Understanding unique site characteristics, particularly political or environmental concerns, are also an important component of site evaluation. The handbook focuses on existing water infrastructure, which is far less likely to have impacts on aquatic organisms or unique archaeological or historical sites.